Here on this channel, we do not appreciate sexist or sexism behavior of any kind. Do as I say, if you want to live. But I'll tell you what, I'm here on this channel to tell you that I love sexy women, boobs, bums, thighs and legs. And if you feminists out there are absolutely outraged by my content and by this channel, you can contact my secretary, who I'm sure will help you with any questions, any burning desires you may have. But remember, she's mine all mine i tell you what this story is so crazy concerning black myth wukong i had to make an entire video for it what happened well let's just say it's reached epic proportions that i didn't think were even possible the world ladies and gentlemen is going absolutely crazy but do you know who's still rather sane yours truly Oh, my beloved daughter, Daya. Hold on a little longer. Your mom will save you no matter what. Flashing through the sky is a go-go guy. Stronger than a train with a so-so brain. Careless, careless, little too careless. Hey! Approved by 1970s Robert Redford. <laughs> Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Are you ready for this spectacular story? Game Science, the people behind Black Myth Wukong, their offices were ransacked vandalized beyond belief um here's the proof of the pudding actually posted by the person who actually carried out the crime isn't that really funny i mean no it's not absolutely not uh, let's translate the post because obviously i cannot read mandarin whatsoever would he let me translate it won't actually that's a bit strange but here we go i cannot believe it the level of insanity of these haters going to game science studios just to vandalize their place so it's a raging feminist that's what people actually believe because if you don't know the history about game science they have allegedly put out sexist and really misogynistic things about <laughs> women on their hr office uh, posters, campaigns that they had. Um, I can't show you any of those because they're, they're not safe for work. But they're, and there's one image of a guy who's um, taking self pleasure, shall we say? It's a rather funny image. I, I, as a man, I found it very funny. Actually, would I indulge in that type of behaviour? Of course, I wouldn't. It's not my shtick. So obviously, game science have been, you know, since 2020 when we first learned, or 2021 about Black Myth Wukong, we were all genuinely excited and i have to admit that my enthusiasm for the game kind of waned a little bit afterwards because when i saw some later combat i wasn't quite sure if this was a triple a experience or was that really everything unfolding before my eyes really the magic of game science but obviously we've seen more footage since then and we can all be rest assured that it's going to be an absolute banger when it's released and of course the release date which i believe is in august is already the the most pre-ordered game on the steam charts which will tell you something actually if people felt embittered about this game already they wouldn't have pre-ordered on mass so I want to take a closer look at this because when I saw this picture here, and I don't know if I can get a, a better image than this, let me have a look. Okay, here we go. I'll just leave it right here. So the person who actually vandalized, um, allegedly, well, they did, uh, their handle is Chunliang II. And I'm presuming, and not to Bai Lu official and two others, so I'm assuming they're perpetrators. But notice the graffiti on the wall. Now, when I saw this, I thought of the Charlie Hebdo situation in Paris. You remember that a few years ago when some people, some moronic individuals became offended 
by the things that that magazine had published. Because apparently, folks, we can't live in a free world. We can't criticize any other ideology out there because if you do, you get cancelled. And again, what's very funny about this, uh, IGN, VGC, all the and Reuters, well, maybe not Reuters as such, but maybe Kotaku, uh, Bloomberg, that Jason Schreier is the head games writer for, how come they haven't actually covered this story? Yeah, yeah but, uh, but I tell you what, it was Guerrilla Games, the people behind the now awful Horizon Zero games. Oh, you can guarantee they'll be out there. It's Western Gaming Studios. They've been vandalized. Let's get in there and help them. Let's get, let's get a Kickstarter campaign to raise money for their broken in offices. But because it's China, and I've got to say I'm surprised by this because I thought that China were very strict on security and everything else as such. It's, it's a paranoid state, isn't it? It really is. It might not be a communist country, but it certainly does embrace the communist ideals. So you would think for a studio like this, they might have taken precaution and, and hired a security firm just to protect their offices. I'm going to guess now that's what they'll be doing going forth. I would say this hasn't actually damaged the game's reputation. It's just going to make it even more desirable. That's my opinion of any kind of infamy, infamy, infamy. They've got it in for me, as the great Kenneth Williams said in Carry On Rome. But as we go back in time, folks, I need to talk to you about this and remind you, Rebecca Valentine, you know, with the pretentious way of spelling Rebecca, she's the one who wrote this breakout story about the problem with game science and its growing feminist movement in China is challenging the status quo that's protected them for so long from myself and Ki Hoon Chan, who poorly translated the article, by the way. I'll get to him in a minute as well, because he's an absolute effing joke as well. So, yes, it's um, the developers face accusations of sexism. So if that's the case, Rebecca, why don't you come after me or any other YouTube channel that promotes sexy images of women, albeit in a video, picture or AI form? Why don't you come after us? You know, what, what's wrong? You know, what, I mean, why don't you go after the YouTube channels that promote naked yoga? Oh, no, but they're educational, Jace. You know, what you're doing is absolutely harmful. Really? I don't think so. So here's a reminder, how Black Myth Wukong developers' history of sex to them is complicating its journey to the West. So video games prior to this that had sexy women in them, talking about dead or alive, Tekken, all those type of games featuring very oh, gorgeous sexy women, were, were their journey to the West damaged by anything? Uh, let me... Uh, no? No? Oh, okay, right, right. So you're talking shit then, in other words. So here's Rebecca Valentine's full profile here on LinkedIn. Obviously, do not go after her because she's not... <laughs> she's not worth your time. She's an investigative urinalist focused on the video games industry, specifically the business side of games, but with additional background in consumerism, game and tech reviews feature writing, broader reporting, and podcast production, which she's absolutely dog shit to doing, I may add. But when we go to Ki Hoon Chan, well, this person is very interesting. So he was the person, uh, I'm saying he, it's a he, it's not a person, whatever. It's this dude who identifies as they, she, but your avatar is of a man. Okay, and they're from Singapore. Maybe a lady boy? Who knows? So he was the co-journalist for Rebecca Valentine on that now infamous IGN article regarding game science. So look, Ki Hoon writes and edits intensely, armed with a diverse writing and editorial background. Of course you do. They approach any tasks with an open and curious mind. They're currently he's currently working in Virtuos, a games development company. And they boast about how they won a Knickerbocker Award in 2020 for journalism. And I'm going to bring you to that article because there's going to be a video game. You'll know about it as soon as you, you hear me talk about it. So this was the award-winning Knickerbocker article on Rock Paper Shotgun. Again, 
written by Ki Hoon Chan, and this was actually in 2019, but it was given the award later on, like a year later. So the game that he was talking about was Devotion, and I knew that title rang a bell with me, and I couldn't quite remember at first why it was. So much like the phantoms that materialize and disappear within the dusky corridors of Devotion, the game itself that felt like an apparition launched in February, the solid Taiwanese horror game vanished from Steam just weeks afterwards due to the discovery of the in-game talisman that featured a likeness of Xi Jinping, the still current Prime Minister or President of China, <laughs> is Winnie the Pooh. So because China got wind of that, and obviously China does not get on well with Taiwan, and I think Taiwan needs to stay at its own independent country, it's, um, this is what caused it to be pulled off the Steam charts. And you can obviously buy it now through Detention Games, and it's still doing very well. And yeah, there was an image here of the talisman that reminded me there we go, of uh, Jigsaw from the Saw films, but just a female version of. I just had that image come to mind. So it's a, it's a pretty good article, actually. It is. I, I, I won't take that away from Ki Hoon. It is a good article, but um, it's such a shame now, isn't it, folks, that when you come back to this, just uh, naming the staff who work at Game Science who are about to release a banger of a game, I'm telling you already, it looks amazing. Again, I can't stand fucking spiders. So the fact you've got to fight a big boss spider in the game just obviously creeps me out already. But then again, I like Gears of War and you fight corpses in there, but for some reason, the corpses are less annoying and less terrifying for me. So I don't really mind them too much. But yeah, if you're going around boasting about your crimes, I mean, these are photographs. Did they make videos? Have they uploaded them anywhere? It's hard to tell at this stage. But um, yeah, Grums, Mark Kern, he reported this on Twitter as well and shared it rather. But uh, give these guys support, man. You know, they, they, they deserve it. it was not, this is not Charlie Hebdo part two in China because of a video game that's threatening to do very well for the developers and all because they apparently harbor sexist attitudes, which is absolutely abhorrent, folks. We, we can't enjoy sexy women anymore, can we? No, no, no. We all have to live in an absolute bubble and just suffer fools gladly. But one fool who's not suffering is yours truly. And thank you very much for the attention you gave to my video yesterday regarding the <laughs> the uh, the apparent curse that is Sweet Baby Ink. By the way, I've actually tagged them on Twitter X with my video. So um, I'd like to see what they do, whether they block me or just ignore altogether. I'm telling you, Sweet Baby Ink, your time will be up very soon. It's a very sad day isn't it when somebody like game science and their alleged sexist attitudes has landed them in such hot water again i'm a i'm a i'm a lover of beautiful women or in all shapes and forms of entertainment love it love it love it and if there are a pair of breasts in front of me right now i'll just do this all day long it's better than what captain america says in those marvel films isn't it and on that one if you enjoyed this one today like it below, smash that subscribe button, and if I were you, and if you were me, let's keep on motorboating all day long. <laughs>